Welcome back, YouTubes. We're playing the park in the Halloween Horror Show. Now, where were we? When last we left, we were looking for Callum, our son, who was trying to escape us. As you can clearly see, he's not entirely pleased that Mommy is on drugs. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. She's a nice lady. Tell him! Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Whoa, uh... Okay, there's there's some here. I thought working at the park for summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. It's really it's really raw dogging it. There aren't many tourists around and most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of the gossip is about Chad. I something Steven see. Even I am starting to call him Chad in, oh, I mean Steve, or Steve, Sev? And I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was laughs. Steve was a local lush as Chad, the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot of Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of, and all of that. But the more he went... The more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Okay, yeah, it's not a little thing. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it. And it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff com some of the staff complaining directly to the park management about the smell. And I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winters, the owner, one day. But nothing... something. Nothing blah to have changed. The suit still smells like carcass whenever Steve walks by. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him up and blah outside the... Blah Station, because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came to the booth today, lucky me, and he just hangs around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of... Is there some way that I can zoom in on this? Is there some buttons I can do to zoom in on this? Come back, Callum. Well, because of that suit, but it seems like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever I was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk ever again. Laura Henry. Whoa, hi, fuck. Alright, let's go in and meet the neighbors. No? Nothing in there? Could have swore there was. No? Can't get in? Alright. Jump scare. Oh, good. It looks so. Pleasant. 
What in God's name is it? Is it is it supposed to be a bird? Okay. I'm just gonna leave that Lovecraftian mascot behind us. Yes. Callum, where are you? This way, mommy. What was this? Oh, bumper cars. Constant crashes in eighties music. Guess it floats someone's boat. I like bumper cars. Oh, we're entering the exit. Mm. It's not polite. We need to take the line or not. Ooh, wrench. Give me a wrench. Wrench, I want wrench. No? All right. Not much to do here. Everybody pick a car. I like this one. It's green. Mm. No go here. No go there. Mm, I don't think the bumper cars work. That's a damn shame. And a missing opportunity. Who doesn't want to ride around in bumper cars? Ooh, that one's got a light. We're totally grabbing that one. But, uh... Always approach these things from the side. They're kind of like horses, only in reverse. You never want to walk behind a horse, and you never want to walk in front of a bumper car. Accident report. Employee, z, name, z. Francis Dufresne. Time and date of the accident, 25th of October, 1976. Hey, I was born there. Job title and department. Laborer working on the crane. Supervisor, Richard Stapleton. Witness, Lawrence Creed, we know him. And Michael Edgeworth. Brief description of the accident. During the transport of the bumper car into the arena, one of the straps, blah, the load to the truck came undone causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly... Oh, directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Uh, Francis was killed. Let's see, did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. Doctor declared him dead. If yes, did you file an employee portion's work and companion form? Yes. Supervisor comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the strap. No one else reports seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with a urine sample. Oh, I got it. What could have been done to prevent this accident? Double checking the straps after the transit should be mandatory. I agree. And drug screening the doctor. Have the unsafe... Uh, no, it hasn't been. Photocopy, huh? Uh, hmm. Stoned up, you should have jumped in the car and you should have started bumping. Let's check out the death car. Also, what the fuck is that? Seems to go to the Ferris wheel. 
Well, I don't want to say this place is haunted, but this car just drove itself. Where are you? Callum! It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. No kidding. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. She's got some problems. Oh god, more of this. Let's see. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builder. The something is that... Oh, the problem is that they are locals. So they believe a lot of the rumors of what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up with those tales. Every time a boat comes loose or wrench goes missing, those fools are cro crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that's why I chose the side over the other potentials. Some, something Island is a nexus for dark energy, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn, got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find a piece of plan that I am missing. to ride the ferris wheel of course we want to ride the ferris wheel why wouldn't we i don't like ferris wheels either not a fan of heights State of inspection report, inspection data, September 22nd, 1980. Inspection routine, unsafe, close the park. Inspector's comments, after touring the park and riding the rides and viewing the startling number of incidents suffered here in the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down and, until Nathaniel Winters complies with all the safety regulations. While I understand that there are tentative political situations between Mr. Winters and the Senator, I nevertheless something suggests that such political considerations set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides at first glance appear to be well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during constructions lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park full to fully investigate those flaws. To wit, here is a partial list of fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. 
family of three killed when a roller coaster car derailed their roller coasters? I didn't see that. Fourteen separate incidences of broken bones and crushed ribs while finding or while riding the Octodron. Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. Ooh, ooh. A child seriously injured on in an elevator. Call in. Overdo over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. Can't wait to go there. One report of drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. The sheer volume of incidents means that this is my strongest recommendation that Atlantic Park be closed immediately. Sign, David Welleth. Well, let's get moving. I can't get on while it's moving. Mm. No. I... Hmm. Yeah, I've seen the inside of parks, and I don't remember them doing this. Hmm. A lot of trash. Like, the controls were a lot simpler. There we go. Alright. Well, I have a kid to find, and I can think of no better place to find the kid than in, uh... On a Ferris wheel, so let's have a look around. Callum? Callum! Is there a baby on one of these things? Bye, Chad. Okay. As we get on high, we need to look very closely for Colin. She's probably down there somewhere. Callum, this is the empty husk of your mother. Where are you? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. <laughs> Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. A lot of bitterness here. Oh, that was a good story. I guess. And we're what? Wait. Um. Hmm. Pretty sure I saw him in there. Maybe he's the guy that's running the show. Hmm. I need to check something. I will return shortly. My in-laws, who are very Polish, just made pierogies. Pierogies are good. Hmm. Let me just eat one more before we start again. Okay, just one more. Just one more. God, I didn't realize how hungry I was. Okay. I'll eat the rest of the next break. Wow, that was really good and very nice of them. So, where were we? Stay where you are!
Is it is the baby on on the Ferris wheel or over here? Oh, holy shit. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Oh, okay. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. <coughs> My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. There might be some baggage in this lady. This one. Never got around to do it before. Y you know, the best time to actually ride one of these is while the place is completely abandoned and no one's there to watch over you. I think that's the safest way to go. You ever notice how creeping metal kind of sounds like somebody crying? Yeah, sure. Mm. I'm gonna ride this while. What do you want? What? We need to talk about Caleb. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Okay, here we go with the final thing. 
I'm, I'm sure this will be completely relaxing. I'm going to put a little cut in here for YouTube. We'll be right back. 